Come all you young rounders And a story I'll tell Of the promise of heaven And the warning of hell But Take heed where you ramble Or too soon you will go Way up on the hillside Where the new flowers grow Early met in the springtime The sun sinking low Two star-crossed lovers In the still-melting snow Where the loving was easy Horton was brief There they called her a beauty They called him a thief In the quiet of the evening They'd steal away Where the laughter Welcome to the Cabo Vlog we're down by the beach. Hopefully it's not like too windy for you and you can't hear. There's a lot of people behind us, so it might be stuff. <laughs> um, we're just like out by the water, relaxing. We got in today and really have only had like a couple hours. I think it's so windy, I don't even know if you guys can hear. We really only had a couple hours like out in the sun because we got here um, and didn't have our room ready, but now it's like ready and so we put our stuff in there. I'm just reading. Flawless. Just started this. Um, I'm going to show you guys the books that I brought whenever we get back to the room. Probably tomorrow, maybe, because we're going to go to dinner tonight. But I've been loving this book so far. It's really good. Um, I feel like I need to get to 100 pages to really know if I like it or not, like for sure. But I'll definitely keep you posted. I also finished Daisy Hate, so I want to give you an update on that um, whenever I get back to the room. And I brought tons of other books. So, yeah, I'll give you an update on those whenever I'm back to the room, too. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more We just got done working out this morning and I'm so tired but it feels like really good to get done with a workout. I have such a different like mindset around like working out than I used to have. Like I feel like whenever I would work out while I was on vacation in the past, I would just like dread it and I would just be so like wanting to get it over with. And now I like really, I still don't necessarily say I enjoy working out, but I definitely don't like hate it as much as I used to. And I get excited to like get the feeling that I'll get after I work out. So that's like what really pushes me to go work out. Um, but we just got done, I'm so sweaty. I was gonna show you guys my workout, but it was so tight in that gym space. So I just shared it over on Instagram. So make sure you're following me there so you can see stuff in like real time. But um, I finished um, the uh, Finding Cinderella book by Colleen Hoover this morning, and I'm getting into Flawless. I will share with you guys my thoughts whenever I get back upstairs. Um, I'm only like 46 pages into this, and it's good so far, like really easy to read, and I'm getting through it really fast, but I just don't know how I'm gonna feel about it when I get to it. I feel like usually by 100 pages, I know if I like the book or not, and we're getting kind of close to that, so I hope that um, I end up liking this because I do have the whole series. I'm reading it with Taylor and she said she's going to really get into it today too. But um, I rated my books, like all the books that I've read or will read in this video on um, Goodreads. So make sure you're following me there because I also update on Goodreads literally the minute I finish a book. So um, you guys can see like my reviews in real time and make sure you're following me on Instagram because I also share immediately on stories like my review of a book so you don't have to like wait till the vlog is over. But I'm going to go and get breakfast and then head upstairs and shower and we're probably going to go out to the beach just to relax and read some more. I 
by the pool but I wanted to do like a little mini wrap up of what I've read so I finished Finding Cinderella and I rated this three stars this was good but it wasn't anything to like write home about I feel like I was I don't want to say excited to get it over with but I just kind of was like I don't know it wasn't my favorite out of all of them. I do think that Hopeless is still my favorite of what I've read um, in this whole like series. Losing Hope was really good, but I don't know. I It's interesting. I could definitely tell if this book was written in 2013 because they kept talking about how like many partners Six had been with and she was like, oh, like, do you think that I'm like, you know bad for like having been with six people and she's like I can't believe like you love me even though I've been with six people and I'm like girl like stand stand up like I don't know the whole time and then like the dad was like oh I can't believe she haven't hasn't given away her trophy yet to you like meaning like they haven't had sex yet and I don't know you could definitely tell that she this was written in 2013 which honestly it like makes me happy that like so much has changed like there's a lot of like sexual liberation and like i don't know a lot of there's not as much shame i guess around people who maybe have been with like different partners or whatever i also finished on the plane daisy hates freaking love this book like i rate this 4.5 out of five stars and um, I'm not going to give you any other ratings of books that I read until the end of this video because I literally just finished these like I don't know like I finished these this is our first full day here and I finished these before even our first full day if you guys watched um, my video I think it's a video right before this where Brady picks my TBR um, he picked some good books for me to read on vacation he picked The Long Way Home by Magnolia Parks he also picked Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monaghan. He picked The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. And then he picked Grip by Kennedy Ryan. And he knows that I love Kennedy Ryan, which is why he picked this one. And then he said that he knew that I wanted to like jump back into the Magnolia Park series, which is why he picked this one. I guess you guys can just watch the video. These are great summer reads. But at the end of the video, I um, said something about how like i wish he had picked the housemaid and he actually surprised me with the housemaid and he like i guess snuck it into his bag and brought it so i could read while i'm here so i'm actually gonna go down to the beach and read this um this vacation is really just full of relaxation time and so i plan on doing a lot of reading while i'm here um the fact that i finished two books i feel like is a good like I don't know a good start to this um vacation i also brought flawless which this isn't one that he picked out and i was only going to just bring the ones that he picked out but taylor and i are like buddy reading flawless and she just got it in the mail um and she said she wanted to start it so i brought it i probably won't read this one as fast as the others because we're buddy reading it together and i kind of want to like stay on the same like chapters and like vibe is like where she is in the book so we can talk about it so I'll be picking up this one periodically. I'm on page 70. But we are gonna take down the housemaid and read the housemaid um, first. And I might go back and forth between like thicker books and smaller books. I'm not really sure like what I'm going to uh, take down after the housemaid. I like to read three books at once. And right now I'm only reading Flawless because I finished Daisy Hates and Finding Cinderella. So I still need to start two more books. Um, so we'll figure out what we'll pick later on um, in this video. I do um, want to not only read, but also just like chill and just like, I don't know, listen to some music, just like relax on the beach and not really like think about anything that is stressful while we're here. Um, our anniversary is actually tomorrow, our five year wedding anniversary. So I'm really excited to celebrate that. Um, so we're gonna try to book like a dinner or something on the beach and do something like special. So anyway, let's head downstairs and do a little bit of reading and I'm going to start the house night. Sway there and all 
all the colors roughly one book a day and so I think I'm going to give myself a little challenge for the rest of the trip not starting tomorrow because we're gonna be like out and about a lot tomorrow but maybe on um, Sunday and do like reading for 24 hours and see how long it takes me I feel like I'll finish by the time that I leave but I might not finish by the time I leave um, I'm not really sure but I've been just reading so much since we've been here and I just feel like it would be fun to do a little challenge. Plus I've never done like a reading for 24 hours type of video on vacation. Um, I'm almost done with this book. I'm on the third part and I actually kind of guessed what the like twist was in this book but it still is so so good so I feel like if you're wanting a good thriller like this is a good one I feel like it does live up to the hype and I think the next book that I'm going to start is this one The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I'm still reading Flawless but I haven't really gotten into it very much because I'm like re buddy reading it with Taylor and we actually had some tornadoes and stuff back home and so a lot of people are without power um, and there's just like a lot going on there and so I think she said her book is still at her house but she um, obviously doesn't have power so we don't have power at our house either which is crazy that this is like the week that we happen to be here um, there still is like a lot of stress with that because obviously we're not here and we've had some stuff happen at the house that I am sure I'll share at some point whenever I get home but we've just been trying to relax while we're here to the best that we can um, it's our anniversary today it's five years and we went to the spa we got massages and it just has been such a relaxing day we like laid out by the pool so yeah, I think that this is gonna be the next book that I start, but I'm almost done with this one. I only have maybe like 70 pages or 100 pages left in this one. And again, I feel like this is a very, very good thriller. I've been trying to add in thrillers more because I wanna be able to give you guys more recommendations for fall. Um, whenever like you guys, if you like wanna read more thrillers. And also I've just been like in a thriller mood and I just gobbled them up. And Brady brought this as like a little surprise because in the last video, I said that I wanted to read The Housemaid and he brought it. It was really sweet. So I do have a ton of other books that I obviously brought. I think I showed you guys when I first got here, um, but this is just what I'm reading for now. I don't think I'm going to vlog for the rest of the day, but I just want to do like a little check-in just for um, to let you know like what I'm reading, how much I've read, and then tomorrow we're going to go around town um, in Cabo and like do some shopping and like see the sights. Uh, we're going to go to this restaurant that we love has such good authentic food um so we're gonna go there and then sunday i think that's when i'm gonna start the challenge so if you're wanting to see stuff in real time be sure to follow over on instagram um and i also think next week or maybe the week after i'm gonna do a um instagram picks the book that i read or the books that i read for the week type of video i've never done that before um and so make sure you're following there because i will do the video and you guys will get to help me choose which books i read so um i'll see you guys tomorrow the sound out here is like actually wild because there is so much going on upstairs they're having like a dance party or something so we decided to come down by the beach which i personally like a little bit better just being by the beach versus the pool because i feel like you can go to the pool at home um so i have officially decided that today i am starting the 24 hours of reading and i'm going to start with the summer i turned pretty i ended up finishing the housemaid and i put my review on goodreads but i'll share my review of all the books like by the end of this video and I'm gonna start the 24 hour readathon literally right now and see how many books I read. We're not gonna go to like the shops and stuff today. I think we're gonna go on maybe like Monday um, just cause today we're just doing to like chill and relax. So yeah, I'm gonna start this and hopefully it's a good one.
this 24 hour reading challenge, but I don't actually know if I'm going to get done because right now I am at, let's see where we are, three hours and 40 minutes. So I, I don't know, I feel like normally at home, if I am doing a reading challenge, I'll like listen to audiobooks and I'll listen to audiobooks while I'm like showering or while I'm like working or whatever. And obviously on this trip, I'm not doing that because I'm not gonna be just like listening to audiobooks while we're like traveling and stuff. Um, Cause I'll just be reading if I have that ability. And if I don't, I'm gonna be like talking to Brady or whatever. Um, we actually just got back from the mall and we went there and we went and ate food and it was so nice. And now I'm gonna pick this back up, not this book, but like my next book that I'm gonna read. Um, again, I will share all my ratings with all the books that I've read at the end of this video. I've actually read a good amount of books so far. Um, I finished four, this is my fourth book that I finished so far. So now we're gonna jump into another book, but I'm thinking that I might actually read a little bit more of Flawless because I'm buddy reading this with Taylor. Um, and then I think the next book I'm gonna jump into is Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monaghan. I do have The Long Way Home by Magnolia Parks and Grip, but these are like thicker books. I don't know if I'm ready for a super thick book, but we do have a four hour flight home and we don't go home for a couple more days. We still have, um, Monday and Tuesday, like full days here, and then we go home on Wednesday, and then the rest of today. So I've been reading about a book a day, roughly, or like pretty close to it. If I like start a book, um, I might finish it like the very next morning, like which is what I did with Summer I Turned Pretty. I started it yesterday and I finished it this morning. Um, so that's kind of just been like the vibe. So I think I'm going to pick up this book um, and read a lot of this one. And if I kind of stick to that pace, I feel like I will be done with most of these by the time I get home. Now, I don't know about these thick ones because these are not only thick, but they're tall. Like, look at that. It's just like, I mean, so different in comparison to these smaller ones. Um, but I've really been enjoying just like reading and sometimes I'm like, why are we humans not just able to just do nothing for like long periods of time? Like I think about in Paris, how in August, it's pretty much known like you don't go to Paris in August because when you go in August, everyone is just taking the whole month off. So they're like traveling, exploring, just enjoying their life. And I feel like we definitely take vacations. Like I'm taking one now, but this is our first week long vacation since I'm pretty sure since last summer. And I feel like a lot of the time when we take week long vacations, I don't even get this much like reading time or relaxation time. Usually we're like trying to see the sights, and I don't know, I just want more time to just relax and enjoy myself when I'm not on vacation. So one thing I really am gonna try to do when I go back home is relax even more when I'm off work, but also really take my weekends to just like fully soak in that time because I feel like sometimes I'll work on weekends and I get so burnt out when I am overworking myself or when I'm just not relaxing. Like I feel like doing chores and just like doing things that you feel like you have to do versus things you want to do are also a part of working. So I want to have a better balance of that. I feel like I say that every time I'm on vacation, I do a good job right when I get back home, but then I kind of like fall off whenever I'm actually home. So I'm really gonna try this time, but I think I'm going to start, um, I'm gonna read a little bit more of Flawless and then read same time next summer or maybe start same time next summer and then hop into Flawless. Either way, we're gonna jump into a book. I'm so serious. I 
am at five hours and 42 minutes and so i'm pretty close to six hours but it is hard i think i'm i don't know i've just been so like relaxed here which has been great but i also think that um i don't know i haven't been in my reading bag i guess and i've just been enjoying my time on vacation which does include reading but I kind of wish I had started this challenge a little bit earlier versus like a little later in our vacation because we go home in we have one full day tomorrow. I am on page 174 of Flawless and I haven't started same time next summer yet. Yesterday we went to a little bookstore and uh, we went to the mall. We went to a, what's it called? A restaurant <laughs> I don't know why I'm blanking and it actually rained for like 10 minutes and it was their first rain that they've had in like this first rain of the year for them and so I don't know it was just like nice being out and about in the city and we really enjoyed it but with that I feel like I just didn't read as much when I got back we had eaten so much food at the restaurant I feel like we were both really tired and then we came back to the room I don't know haven't been my reading back but um, we're gonna go down to the beach and read today. I will say that this vacation has been one of the most relaxing vacations I've ever had and one I'm learning a lot about myself like I think the first thing I'm learning about myself is that I don't need alcohol to make myself better or make myself have more fun because I feel like sometimes I get in my head where I feel like I'm not like fun or I can't have fun unless I'm like drinking or something and maybe that's just that like college mentality that's coming out but I feel like that sometimes and I have not felt like that in the last few months like I went to a bachelorette party last month or maybe it was a couple weeks ago and I didn't really drink very much and I think it's because I'm becoming more comfortable as I am with who I am um oh also this swimsuit I didn't show this to you guys but it is from Target it's so affordable um, I'll link it if you guys want me to link it. It I think the top is $15 and the bottom is $15 and the cover up is $15. So you can pretty much get the top and bottom for $30 if you don't want this like wrap. But another thing that I feel like I'm learning about myself is that I need to start going to bed early. Like Brady and I were saying how we have felt so rested and just like so relaxed and we were counting up like the amount of hours of sleep that we get. And we're literally getting eight hours like that's it it's not like we're sleeping super late or like getting an excessive amount of hours we're literally just getting the amount of hours that you need to exist and we're like in the past i feel like we just kind of survive off of six hours or five hours and that's pretty normal for us because we work a lot so i really 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 want to prioritize like getting a good night's sleep in the future um, but I'm realizing that I'm able to relax more because I'm not tired and I know that's like something that I usually feel very often is just like being absolutely exhausted a lot. So um, I feel like I always learn a lot on trips and those are the two things that are like sticking out to me the most. Um, and I'm really enjoying the books that I'm reading and able to like take time to relax. So that's what we're gonna do today, just full relaxation. Yesterday was more of like a busy day, like shopping and stuff like that. I didn't end up buying anything, but I did end up seeing some books that I thought would be um, good. There was one book that was at the bookstore and I actually put it in my Amazon cart. And I like looking at bookstores in other countries because I like seeing what other people are reading because I feel like sometimes books in the States just get overhyped and so you don't really get new book recs. And so while I was in the bookstore, I was like looking at what was there. And one of the books that really stuck out to me is, I think I put it in my cart. Oh my gosh, did I not? <gasps> no, I hope I did. Oh, I took a picture of it. Um, it's by Rachel Lynn Solomon. And um, let's see, it is a YA book and it's called See You Yesterday. And the story says, uh, Barrett Bloom is hoping college will be a fresh start after a messy high school experience, but when school begins on September 21st, everything goes wrong. She's humiliated by the know-it-all in her physics class. She's botched her interview for the college paper. She botches, or yeah, she had, and at a party that night, she accidentally sets a frat on fire. She panics and flees, and when she realizes her roommate locked her out of her dorm, 
She falls asleep in the common room. The next morning, Breath perplexed to find herself back in the dorm room bed, no longer smelling of ashes and crushed dreams. It's September 21st again, and after a confrontation with Miles, the guy from Physics 101, she learns she's not alone. He's been trapped for months. When her attempts to fix her timeline fail, she agrees to work with Miles to find a way out. Soon they're exploring the mysterious underbelly of the university and going on wild romantic adventures. As they start falling for each other, they face the universe's biggest unanswered question yet. What happens to the relationship if they finally make it to tomorrow? I've never heard about this book, um, but it's the author who wrote Today, Tonight, Tomorrow. And I actually own that book, but I've never read it. So, I don't know, I just thought it would be good, so I'm going to add that to my list of like something that I want to buy. Anyway, um, let's head down to the beach and do a little reading. We're back down by the beach. We've been out by the water for a while and we're literally under the palm trees, which is so nice. And I have my book that I'm reading. Right now I'm reading The Same Time Next Summer. I started this um, not that long ago today and I'm on chapter 14. I actually didn't think that this book would be that good. I kind of thought that it would be just like one of those like filler fluffy reads that was like easy read nothing that's like too heavy but I'm actually really loving it and it's kind of reminding me of Happy Place um, by Emily Henry if you've read that book it's giving similar vibes also I love um, the book Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren it's also kind of giving me that vibe too because it's very much like you met this guy when you were younger and you like fell in love and then you like were torn apart and you don't really know why they were torn apart but you can really feel their love and you can also like feel the nostalgia of like them being kids so i really love that whole like storyline um i am at six hours and 52 minutes i don't even know if you guys can see that like literally at all um let me see if i can show you Okay, you can see a little bit better here, but I'm at six hours and 52 minutes, and um, I might like jump back into this, but I also might jump back into Flawless by Elsie Silver, which is in my bag, um, because this is a really good one so far. I'm not like obsessed with it yet, and I kind of get the hype, but I kind of am like not sure why people are like so like crazy in love with it. I don't know, sometimes I feel like people just get in their heads like, this book is the greatest, you have to read it, and like it just like, I don't know, people get hyped up over it, but I am pretty far into it. I'm on page 174, so I feel like by now I should kind of know how I feel about this, and I'm still kind of unsure. Brady, he's been reading his Kindle, and he's been liking it. Um, yeah he likes it so far don't know if i'm gonna get a kindle i still am like a very much a like physical book girl but maybe like the more that he uses kindle the more i'll like want to get one i don't know so i'm gonna sit here and read and i'll catch you guys up on the rest of the books i'm really really liking this one i didn't think that i would um like it as much as i do i do wish that this was not written in third person some of like the parts it's kind of weird because it's written in first person for a lot of like Sam's chapters and then when it gets to Wyatt's chapters it's like third person so it's kind of weird but I just wish it was fully in like first person but that's just like a very small thing about this book that I'm not obsessed with but everything else like the setting the vibe it's very much giving summer I feel like it's a very underrated summer book granted it just did it did just come out so they're still isn't a ton of hype around it and it's probably because people haven't read it yet because it's so new um but i'm really loving it i didn't show you our view this is what we're looking at which is honestly the perfect thing to look at while you're reading um and my feet are in the sand and i have my little water bottle next to me it's just a very summer vibe which i really like we've been coming out here more often because the other area is like more full of people and this is just really relaxing i have read for nine hours and four minutes and i'm really proud of how much i've read but i also feel like if i were reading three books like i normally do i would read a little bit faster so i'm gonna try to do that and just read three books like i usually do i've been only reading two at a time lately um i didn't really read anything flawless yesterday so i'm pretty much just just read one book for the most part yesterday i read like a little bit of flawless i think but i'm on page 236 of same time next summer by annuel monaghan it is so good like it gives happy place but also like a summer vibe because i feel like happy place definitely gives summer but i don't know this gives like 
I don't know even how to explain it because Happy Place is definitely summer, but it's just like a different summer vibe. I can't even explain like the, maybe one is like beach house and one is more, I feel like Happy Place gives camp. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one who like feels like that, but um, they're by the water a lot in this and I feel like Happy Place, they don't like swim as much or they're not by the water as much. I don't know, I am loving it. It also gives Friends to Lovers, which Happy Place by Emily Henry doesn't have like the Friends to Lovers um trope and that's like one of my favorites so i'm really excited to like finish this today i have i think like 50 more pages left and then i'm going to read these two i think i'm going to start both of them actually grip by kennedy ryan and the long way home by magnolia parks will i finish them on this trip i don't know and i don't even know if i'm going to actually finish this challenge or not i'm going to like read on the plane and i'm going to read like while we're traveling but i'm not sure if i'll finish these before this video goes up on thursday um i haven't read much today i read like a little bit this morning but i had some work to do so i couldn't read a ton but yeah so we're gonna head downstairs and see how much i can get through i'm really excited that i've like had the opportunity to just read so much this week because i don't usually get the ability to just like sit and read for a full week and obviously i've read a lot of books before i started this challenge like i finished um finding cinderella by colleen hoover i finished um daisy hates by jessa hastings i finished the summer i turned pretty i think that was before i started this challenge and the housemaid by Freed McFadden. so i've definitely been reading before i finished this chat or before i started this challenge so if i don't end up finishing it that's okay um because i've been reading a lot and loving it but i'm hoping that i can finish the challenge um or at least get really close so let's head downstairs and do a little bit of reading to come out and read Magnolia Parks in the water but I think I'm actually going to go over to the um, like beach area just because it is a little like I don't know it's calm over here but I just always feel better by the beach for some reason um, I feel like the waves are just like so much more calming with the noise and stuff and I don't know this is like one of my first times on this trip getting in the water and I think it's because it's been so like busy over here that um, I just haven't really had the desire to get in like there's always music playing and there's like tons of people in here but I'm in here by myself or I think maybe there's one other person in here which is really nice and I'm just reading Magnolia Parks the long way home this might be a five-star read for me because it is so good and I think it's because I was like I got invested into their story and so now I like really want to know more about them and I don't know also I've gotten a lot of questions how I can read in a pool and reading in a pool to me is like so similar to reading in a bathtub like I mean you just don't want to drop the book obviously but I never really worry about dropping the book because I'm holding on to it so like tightly so I don't know I think I might go out to the beach but then again I kind of like reading in here because it's like very calm and no one's really like over here um so i don't know i haven't really decided but i am gonna like walk around a little bit more um and just enjoy the sunshine it is time for a little wrap up i have read one two three four five books on this trip so far we're actually heading home and i haven't finished the challenge but i'm going to try to finish it on the way home because we have a super long uh travel day like i think we have six hours of flying and then we have like two hours of driving um and then obviously we have like wait time so right now i'm at 12 hours and what is that nine minutes so pretty close but only like halfway my problem is that i started this challenge on sunday and we got here on wednesday so i was just like reading but i wasn't like so i hadn't started a timer so I'm gonna go through the ratings and then I'm gonna keep reading the books that I haven't finished, which these are the two books. Well, actually, I think I 
There's one more book actually in here that I didn't finish. Let me grab that. There are three books I didn't finish and I started Flawless. Um, still reading this one. I am also still reading um, Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home. This is so freaking good. Like so, so good. And then I'm going to start Grip today. So these are going to be the books that I'm going to be reading for the next 12 hours. I'll let you guys know what book I end up finishing probably at the end of this video. Um, and then this video actually goes up tomorrow. So I'll probably be editing this pretty late. But let me go through what I finished and give you guys the ratings for them. So the books that I had already partially started were Finding Cinderella and Daisy Hates before I got here. And then the books that Brady picked out were Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monaghan, Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han, and then he snuck on The Housemaid for me because he knew that I wanted to read that book. Um, the other two books that he um, picked out were these two right here, Long Way Home by Magnolia Parks, or Magnolia Parks Long Way Home and Grip by Kendi Ryan, and then I brought Flawless. So lots of books, and I'm actually glad I brought so many because it will give me ample like things to read. And if you're the type who maybe people give you grief for bringing too many books, just bring the books because I honestly didn't think I would have read this many. Like it is very possible that I could finish two more books on this flight, which would mean that I would only have one more book left out of the, what is this, five, eight books that I brought. So um, yeah, definitely bring however many books your heart desires because you just never know like if you'll finish them or not. So the first book that I finished was Daisy Hates, uh, Magnolia Parks Universe book two. And I gave this book 4.5 stars and I really like this book because it was my first look at Daisy Hates and I feel like she's just such a strong character and I really fell in love with her character. Um, I also like jumping back into this universe. I feel like the first book, if you love the first book, you're going to love the next books even more because you know the characters even more so like you get to really dive deep into their lives. Um, so I really love this, rate it 4.5 stars. Then after that, I read Finding Cinderella by Colleen Hoover. I rated this three stars. I feel like Hopeless and Losing Hope were some of my favorite books by her, but I just found like that this was definitely dating itself. Like some of the things that they talked about in the book just seemed a little dated. Like they kept mentioning how many partners she'd been with. And I just find, found myself getting a little like bored of her being like, oh, are you okay with me being with like six other partners? Like girl, you're just fine. And then after that, I read The Housemaid, which I rated this four stars and loved this thriller. It was so good. And I feel like I've had so many people tell me I need to read this. I will say that I guessed the like twist of this book. And so that's why it wasn't rated like 4.5 or five stars, because I feel like thrillers, if you can guess the twist, then it's going to really like change how the book feels, like whether it feels like a thriller or something where you're like on the edge of your seat. But there were other parts of the twist that I didn't fully guess, so like I still was surprised and I really enjoyed it. Then the re I read The Summer I Turned Pretty and I rated this four stars. It gives summer so like perfectly and it made me really excited to read the rest of the series. I'm going to try to read this series before the um, new like show comes out. It just was really, really good and I'm definitely team Jeremiah. And then after that, I read Same Time Next Summer by Annabelle Monaghan, and I read this 4.5 stars. I am still thinking about this book. It gives me happy place, but with a friends to lovers vibe, and it is just so beautifully written. There's so many good quotes in this. I want to read this like again and again and recommend it again and again. It's just so cute, and I feel like she did a good job of writing the human experience. Because the character Sam was quirky, but it didn't seem like the author was trying to make her quirky, you know what I mean? She just like encapsulated humans in like a very authentic way, which I loved. Um, and again, all of those books were so, so good. Um, so this is the stack of books that I finished in the last um, like few days while I've been on this trip. And now I am reading Flawless by Elsa Silver. Magnolia Park's Long Way Home and Grip by Candy Ryan. So I'll keep you guys posted on the travel day and like my thoughts on the books as we travel um, and see what I can read in the next 12 hours. I decided to change into a dress. 
instead of like wear a um, like hoodie thing or crew neck because it is so hot and Brady checked the weather and it's like hot at home too. So I think this will make me feel a lot better being like in something that has no sleeves. And then I put the hoodie and the shorts in my bag just in case I um, like get cold. I will say that bringing a lot of books, the only thing about it is your bag is just so full all the time because I mean, books take up a lot of space and they take up a lot of um, weight in your bag. And my bag was already overweight on the way here, so I know it's not gonna be overweight on the way back. But um, I just have to bring it because you just never know what you're gonna end up bringing. And it makes me happy to have them just in case. And I honestly only have three books left and I'm like halfway through one and halfway through another. So it's very likely that I could finish those two books and then just have one left. So you just never know. But I am using this Bay's bag, which I really like. I own this in two other, um, like I own it in the duffel and then like the smaller size of this bag. It's so nice. This is the only bag that I take with me everywhere. It fits everything. Well, this is my official like first time not finishing a challenge. I did get really close though. We are in Brady's parents' house right now and it is 12 17 it's so late it's after midnight and we just got back we don't have power at our house so we're gonna be here for a while there were some storms that like knocked out the power and things have been a little crazy but thankfully I have books to keep me happy i did get very far in this i'm on page 358 and this book is good like so freaking good i'm obsessed with this whole series i just literally can't get enough of it i feel like in the first series i like was a huge fan of beach and like magnolia i just was like okay whatever they're like toxic yada yada and now i feel like i just i want them to figure it out like they're so good together i just can't like they're good but they're toxic but they're good you know what i mean i don't know maybe i'm the only one who thinks that but the series is so freaking good um but i did end up finishing um i think a total of let me check on my goodreads and if you guys ever want to see like my books and like what i read in real time just look on my goodreads but i finished daisy hates finding cinderella the housemaid summer i turned pretty in the same time next summer so that's three four five books and almost 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 finished um Magnolia Park's a long way home. I have like 200 pages left and I definitely could have finished this challenge if I gave myself one more day, but I wanna get this video up for you guys tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna be working on this until like probably 2 a.m. tonight just to like get it done. Um, but I like never miss like an upload day or like time or whatever. I don't know, I just like, it makes me happy like getting videos up three days a week and sticking to the schedule is like what keeps me like getting them up so frequently. Um, I think the next video I'm gonna do is a video where you guys choose my reads and like I Instagram choose my reads. So make sure you're following me on Instagram if you guys want to like help me with that because I feel like I, I don't know, I've never done that before but I've always wanted to have like a more interactive type video so Make sure you're following me there and you can help me with that and i'm gonna try to finish 20 books this month we'll see i'm heading to germany in literally a week and a half and brady he um bought me a really cool birthday present to a really cool place i've never been it's not germany it's another place and you guys will know obviously in um one of those like vlogs because i'm gonna be reading there and sharing like everything i read but i think i'm gonna do a video with brady where he picks my germany tbr I think let me know if you guys want to see that and i will ask him if he wants to pick up my tbr because i feel like he did a good job he picked out the summer i turned pretty he picked out the housemaid secretly he also picked out um same time next summer which you guys know i rated that 4.5 stars and loved it so um oh sorry uh, brady's dad sleeping out there i forgot that he's sleeping but um yeah i'm going to get off here so you guys can um I guess well so I can go to sleep but here's the timer I ended up finishing at 17 hours hopefully next time I can finish the challenge I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys <music>